Digital Health Global Goods are adaptable software and services that address health system challenges. What makes a software a strong global good? Use in multiple countries to address multiple health system challenges with funding from multiple sources. Support from active communities that provide help when needed. Attention to privacy and security best practices. Free and open source licensing with publicly available code and documentation to support affordable customization. All making it easy to deploy at scale. Global goods are used to cut down on unnecessary spending and provide sustainable software solutions for countries, thereby saving more lives and improving the health of humans all over the world. The WHO classification framework in the Digital Implementation Investment Guide has identified 39 potential health system challenges and over 80 specific ways that digital tools can improve health services. These interventions are parceled in a variety of digital health global goods. Each video in this series will highlight a specific global good. This video will feature DHIS2, developed by the HISP Centre of the University of Oslo. It is a health information management system used by all levels of the health system, from health workers to district and national managers. Dr. Banda oversees her country's immunisation programme. She needs to know how many unvaccinated children live in each district and how many vaccines are available in each facility, so that she can make informed decisions as she plans the next immunisation campaign. When this information is stored in different systems or written down on paper, she is unable to assemble all the information she needs in time which makes planning and implementing an effective campaign impossible. A Health Management Information System, or HMIS, makes it possible to capture, monitor, aggregate, analyse and share health information at all levels of a health system, facilitating accurate and timely data-driven decision-making. DHIS2 is the world's largest HMIS. Used in more than 70 countries, it can store health statistics, patient level records, surveys, population data, information on medical supplies and human resources, and much more. DHIS2 is a free and open source web-based platform designed to support data collection and analysis needs at national scale and to work in areas where IT resources and infrastructure are limited. DHIS2 includes support for offline data capture across devices, real-time analytics features that work even when bandwidth is limited and sharing features that facilitate access to data and analytics outputs. DHIS2 turns data into information for action. The DHS2 open source software platform is a product of a global collaboration led by the HISP Center at the University of Oslo. Today, HISP UIO coordinates a network of 17 regional HISP groups and online community practice to foster sharing of ideas and innovation from thousands of DHS2 experts worldwide. Many of the HISP groups are led by PhD scholars from UIO and the groups are made up by IT experts and public health experts to support countries and organizations in the region with customized DHS2 implementation and capacity building. The HIST network works with global health agencies such as Global Fund, WHO, CDC, PEPFAR, Gavi, UNICEF, NORAD, USAID and other partners to design integrated national health information systems and tools for key health programs. Using DHIS2, health workers enter, review, analyse and share the data they need to work effectively at the health facility and district levels and national planners can then review this information to make decisions that improve patient and population health outcomes. DHIS2 data entry forms can be configured to match existing paper tools or take advantage of customizable form logic and other features to streamline the health data entry process, saving time and reducing errors. Both aggregate and individual level tracker data can be captured with a laptop, PC, tablet or mobile devices, both online and offline, and data can even be submitted directly by SMS. DHIS2 is flexible, 
It allows health workers to disaggregate data along specified parameters and indicators in order to isolate problem areas and plan targeted interventions. Health workers can then create reports and dashboards to share with colleagues for collaborative analysis, configure notifications to send automatic alerts to select people or groups, and use built-in tools to review and improve data quality. DHIS2 digitizes workflows that enable aggregation of data upwards from the health facilities to the district and national planning level. Health experts at this level can then analyze the local and national data trends to determine whether population health outcomes and workforce performance targets are being met and create strategies to address any gaps in reaching those targets accordingly. DHIS2 can be extended with custom apps and it also supports interoperability through the MADEX standard and open APIs, allowing countries to connect their DHIS2 systems to a variety of digital tools, including many global goods, moving data out of silos and into an enterprise. HISP UIO also publishes DHIS2 metadata packages based on global standards and indicator definitions, which can be modified based on local needs, allowing WHO's global guidance to be represented accurately across information systems. DHIS2 is also used to manage education systems, agriculture projects, water and sanitation, and more. As many other countries, we had um, a challenge related to data availability. When you don't have data in place, uh, you always have a poor planning, and again, you have a poor resource allocation, and at the end of the day, it affects the health. Uh, before 2012, we had one central health server. Then users used to come from all hospitals and health facilities, bringing the backup file. So one store of the user is a user, he came to the MOH with a flash disk, but reaching at MOH after driving eight hours, we found that there's nothing there. So imagine he had to go back eight hours and again come back eight hours. By that time, he was supposed to serve patients, he was supposed to serve their facility. So I think now we are gaining much of time to look at data and uh, currently everything is integrated. So it has addressed these problems because you can be able to access your data and you can be able to access your dashboard and your decision can be made anytime, anywhere without moving with files. The heart of HISP and DHS2 is the people. We are a community-driven, action-research-based project based on more than 20 years of collaboration and capacity building. DHS2 is now used by Ministry of Health in over 70 low- and middle-income countries, impacting the lives of billions of people today. Using DHIS2, Dr. Banda can now plan her country's immunisation campaign and assess its results without waiting months for paper forms. District managers can use indicators and interactive dashboards to monitor progress in real time and frontline health workers can update the electronic record for each child they vaccinate, all using the same platform. To learn more about DHIS2, visit our website dhis2.org. To learn more about other digital health global goods, visit Digital Square and read through the Global Goods Guidebook Join the community and see how you can leverage global goods for your work.